Okay, so now we got this problem, like I was just saying, we need a different set for uh, these guys, but let's just go see what happens on its own time. The first thing I always like to do is that I like to make these, well, we'll talk about that on um, later effects, but I actually like to set the release and start time to zero, it just uh, makes things a little easier. You can do that by hitting the uh, setup button, and we'll go ahead and do the sequence references. Sequence, yes. I just go ahead and make the one for that, so uh, it won't make it automatically because I really should have done this from the beginning. I should have showed you that. Uh, sequence is reference no reference here. So what it does. later on um, why that is, but I always set that to zeros because the time that I'm about to show you uh, will be way better. In fact, let's go ahead and do that right now. This is probably going to be a little bit more energy for you. So, I think it just takes a and then uh, do the rest of them. Okay, now I'm on my last one. Actually, I'm on this one. Okay, so now we have everything zeros and start with the one that took no time at all. So we'll go ahead and put that to zeros. Now, check this out in theory. What If I want this to automatically, let's say if I want to see my time to zero to start with in uh, zero seconds, let's say that'd be super fast. There's a time button here. You hit time. Uh, no, I'm s uh, excuse me. I have to hit C, and then hit uh, Enter to bring it up like this. So then C, hit time. One, go to zero slash zero, and hit Enter, and that actually just moved it forward to that same that it's now officially on the one that took uh, zero seconds. has to be all in one thing anyway. Uh, you know, and let's say if I want to see my time, hit C2, time, zero, slash, zero, hit enter, and then uh, let's say if I want to close, uh, let's say C, six times, and then time, zero, slash, zero, then I can run these scenes by typing in here, C, a lot to type in. Well, remember the macros lesson I did? Now you're seeing why I gave it to you. It seemed maybe a little arbitrary at the moment, but now it makes way more sense. Um, oh, so I'm going to double tap my macros. Uh, leave the guard button on for this. I'm going to move this uh, over here. Now, check this out. This is going to take me a minute to describe this. Now, you don't want to, I'm going to move my mouse around here, you don't want to um, you have to select each one individually. If I did enough scenes and colors and gobos, I could literally go scene one through twenty or one through thirty and it'll just and time zero slash zero and just knock all that out. Um, but you can't do I can do one through five, but I can't quite do one through twenty because of all these blank ones. You have to include you, you can only use scenes that are in that are have been recorded to you. Or else it, the command will not work. So, what I'm first going to do, I'm going to uh, 
set it up so I can record a scene. So by doing that, I'm going to hit record macro one. And now, as you see, the macro button's lit up in red. That means, and, and this guy's lit up in red as well. That means it's recording everything I'm doing. So, like I said, we want the command to be scene, uh, typing in it down here at the bottom, scene one through five. One through five plus scene 16 through 20, 16 through 20, plus scene 31 through 32, plus scene 35, that's that Gerbo release scene, plus scene 35. Enter. Ah, I screwed up. <laughs> Let's hit pig macro and we'll end that. I'm going to have to delete that. Hold down delete that. Guard. I'm going to hit undo the guard. I'll hit that. I'll hit the guard button again so I can edit it later. Okay, record macro that guy. So let's try that again. Uh, hopefully it'll drive it in the more times I do it. Scene 1 through 5 um, plus scene 16 through 20 plus plus scene 31 through 32 plus scene 35 for that last one. This is where I screwed up. Hit the time button over here. Time. You see it in the command line now. And then 0 slash 0. Then hit enter. And then hold down pig and macro. And we are done recording here. And then we hit open macro. Oops, yeah, open macro. And there's all the commands that we typed in. Now, the, it saved it in the speed light, like I've showed before, that the speed that we typed it in. So, of course, you want to clear all these out. Um, set them to zero seconds. Um, actually, let's set them to, um, what is it? I think what I've learned in the past, the best is 0 0.5. And we want, we want to set the duration of all of these down to zero. Set zero. I think I might have to go in here and just do this on my own. Set zero. Yep, there we go. Like I said, empty spaces. It does not like it. Set zero. There we go. And there is every command that we typed in. Uh, don't do the recall view. Uh, hit the delete button for that guy. And then delete. Hold down delete and select that. Yeah. Uh, clear command. Yeah, we we want to do that. Because we, you know, if we're in the middle of typing something and we're in the middle of showing we want to quickly do something, we want the clear command to run. So, done with that. Um, I want to call this. Uh, we'll s we'll click on that guy and we'll set it to um, time zero seconds. And hit clear, and then we'll undo the guard. So that way, when I click it, it'll run it. And now, if you can, when you click it, you'll see all of this fill up. In fact, I'm going to type in macro enter and just typed all that in for me and now all my times are super fast oh I didn't look capture and just get it out that's okay but you're getting the idea hopefully it's just uh, you'll see that it's now switching over everything over in a very quick rate now what I do from here how much time do I have left okay I have enough time I would actually I hit guard again I type in select that and I hit copy on my controller copy and I select it from here and then I hit open hold down open and it opens it up and guess what you can go it's got all your commands in there and I can type in double click my z there's my zero slash zero and I want this to be one second instead of zero seconds so there's my one double click on the zero and set that to one as well boom there's one slash one as you're probably getting the pattern now okay now hit set uh, let's see time one second, and then you can do that here, over here, oops, and copy, boom, and clear, copy to macro, or maybe it's macro one, copy two, one second doesn't want to uh, do that, let's see.
you're getting the idea. What you do is that you can go through as many se uh, seconds as I do. I usually go up to about six seconds. It's typically it, um, about six seconds, and that takes care of all your needs. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this and then finish it out, restart my s my uh, demo capture because I ran out of time, and I'll show you effects or uh, yeah, show you a little bit of this and go into effects.